In the mid-1800s, one of the branches of the Overland Emigrant Trail, marked in orange on this map, connected the Carson Valley in Nevada with the Western Sierra. And then came legendary Snowshoe Thompson, who blazed a new route from the Carson Valley, of what was then called Utah Territory, and Murphy's Camp, California, through Hope Valley, Deer Valley, Hermit Valley, and the Big Trees. This was around 1851, and Thompson's new route is marked in green on this map. It wasn't long till prospectors and immigrant parties quickly began to use this new trail, from Nevada to Murphy's and the surrounding gold fields. Much of the general route of present-day California Highway 4 follows this route. It was used by a man named Leonard Noyes, who was awarded a contract to build a full-fledged wagon road in 1856. It was well used for several years. Work began in July, and by fall, emigrants were using this trail. Unfortunately, this route crossed over Border Ruffian Pass, named that because of holdup men, possibly part of the outlaws of the infamous Joaquin Marietta gang. So once silver was discovered in 1861 on Silver Mountain, just a few miles east of Ebbets Pass, another new route was rapidly completed from Hermit Valley to the Silver Mines and beyond down the hill to Markleyville, the approximate route of today's Highway 4. And Border Ruffian Pass became less important as a trans-Sierra route, and it gradually fell into disuse. The new route over Ebbets Pass is marked in blue on this map. For about a hundred years, the road sat unused as the forest slowly reclaimed what once belonged to it. According to Don Moyer, who writes a column for a Manteca, California newspaper, four-wheeling in the 1950s was in its infancy. There were no rules. You basically took your Jeep out in the woods and drove wherever you wanted to. He recalls as a youngster in the 50s, staying summers in Hermit Valley, and one evening around the campfire they were discussing what they might do the next day, Somehow they decided to try to find the traces of the old wagon road and see if they could drive their trusty jeep to Deer Valley, the route marked here in red. What began as a day or two project lasted most summer and gave what we know today as the Deer Valley Jeep Trail. The next threat to the trail was the designation of the McCombney Wilderness in 1964. It could have been declared off limits to motorized vehicles but a compromise was reached allowing a corridor to be carved out of the wilderness area to allow for the Jeep Road. Back when I was a teenager, we made lots of great memories along the trail. Here's a picture of me using my dad's 1960 Land Rover to cross Deer Creek, oh, back in about 1974. A more recent peril to this wonderful trail, along with 41 other routes in the El Dorado National Forest, was a 2012 closure order by a U.S. District Court judge as the result of an environmental lawsuit. As of this time, many of those routes are still closed. The good news, though, for Deer Valley is that it's been reopened after a five-year closure. Some work remains to be done to reroute environmentally sensitive parts of the old trail, but it once again is open to the public. Well, just a few weeks ago, after being off this trail for five years, we decided to try going from Hermit Valley on the south end of the trail and see how far we could go before we reached the closed sign or gate. And that's why we're inviting you to join us for this excursion.
trail is here and that big tree is across it no way to get through there so people have been going down the creek and getting around the big tree it looked like we could make it through these trees but I got the front tire against about an 8 inch tree, 6 to 8 inch tree and then when we went forward it slid, slid this back to the right. On the other side I got a big tree against the door and the mirror and we've got this tree in the back so we can't go backwards because that tree is against the bumper. So what we're going to try to do is winch ourselves sideways. So far, nothing's broken. up against the side that's really great ah yeah I hate that we had to do it it messed up some stuff but I'm glad that we're out and uh, the mirror isn't broken over there